me and my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my, me and my, me and my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my, me and my kicks. What is going on YouTube? It's your favorite YouTuber, me and my kicks. And I haven't been to this mall in a long time, man. It's the River Oaks Mall located in Calumet City, Illinois. I haven't been in this mall in about like two to three years. And since I went to that um, Southside Chicago sneaker convention, I put it up above if you want to check it out. It's pretty close to the River Oaks Mall. So I figured I'd go ahead and check it out and do a young vlog, man. So as always, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Also comment down below what's the best shoe you've seen in this video. And if you aren't subscribed to the channel, what are you doing, man? Hit that subscribe button, takes nothing but a couple seconds and you'll be notified of when I drop future videos. Now enough talking, let's get into this vlog. These shoes not bad. I like these. Uh, I don't know, like that's the name of them, but they kind of remind me of the fear of God. Like if they made a low, it's a nice little colorway too. They also got it in uh, like a few, like a, a light purple. Pretty decent. I forgot these foams drop for the ladies. It's not bad. Got like a <laughs> like a off white cream bottom and like a iridescent green and gold upper. Pretty decent. Let's retail on these. One two thirty. Wow, they charging two thirty for. A, a GS shoe, that's crazy. Got these glittery uh, up tempos. He's pretty decent. I'm not really a fan of the air up tempos, but for the ladies or for the uh, kids, he's not bad. I like this uh, Air Force One color right here. White with the Carolina blue. Nice, simple color. Got Nike on the back. He's pretty decent. And they got these like floral upper uh, Air Force Ones. I'm not really a fan of these, but I had to show you guys that. I snooze on these, man. I need to get these on sale. Whenever I catch a uh, foot lock of friends and family, I'm getting these. I want these on sale. I haven't seen these in the um, store in a minute. The, um, the flat knit ones, bread joints. What they want for these, 180 still. Yeah, there ain't no sale tag on them, so they still want retail for them. It's a nice little uh, outfit for the 90s babies or whoever watch us. Yeah, actually, this is a 90s outfit right here. This whole coat got all everything 90s on it. Nice little crew neck sweater. That's not bad actually. It's not a bad fit. At DTLR, they got these on sale already. These came out like what a month ago? They got them down to 170. I'm, I need these for way lower though. Feli's doing too much. I'm not a fan of this silhouette at all. How much they want for this? A hundred? Nah. They're doing too much, man. And then they're trying to copy off uh, Nike with this leg. A little mid so just a nice little sale on some new bounces uh, like maroon and gold like a cavalier color for only 30 bucks retail is like 120 130 that's not bad 100 bucks off this uh one of the latest colorways in the uh, reebok iverson legacies i like this colorway it's a, like a sample that was on ebay like a week or two ago this what is it, what is it right here where it's like leather it was suede and this was very cold um, I, my man's placed the order for it and they canceled it on them. Apparently, like, they was, they were samples and they didn't know about it, but these is cold, man. Especially if it had, like, a suede upper, this would be a must cop. Well, it's, like, this colorway remind me of, like, Houston Oilers. Pretty decent, though, man. Got that red bottom. I still need to give me a pair of these, man. I've been snoozing. I recently uh, did my unique uh, collab, Answer Ones. I put that up above if you want to check it out. I don't think I ran across this colorway in the Ultra Boost. Got like a teal and black with the black uh, midsole. It's not bad. Uh, this ain't on sale or nothing like that, but I just had to show you because it's pretty decent. And got the little splatter black and uh, blue bottom. Not bad. I like these uh, mids right here. These pretty decent, especially this part right here. If this was like all throughout the shoe, this would sell because this will like pop off on the foot, man. I really like this. It's not bad. They ain't got them on sale or nothing like that. This must be a new a new model. 180. Not too bad. They go to Chinese New Year um, Vapor Max. Um, the year of the pigs, as you can see, got that pig right there. These not bad, and it got the little um, lace tips. Pretty decent. I like that red, like ruby red bottom with the black in there. These was like the best thing out the whole Nike, like year of the pig pack in my opinion. But I, I just ain't got the bread to be buying no Vapor Max all willy nilly. And as you can see, 
it's like flattening it. They got gold inside of it, so it like kind of shines off your feet when you're moving. I haven't seen these uh, six rings before. It's pretty decent. It's kind of remind me of the um, Wind Like 96 11s. If you didn't get those, these like your poor man's Wind Like 96s right here. Got that uh, red bottom. These not bad. These not bad at all. They go to Six Rings, uh, Concord. I remember when these like first came out like five, six years ago, everybody had a pair of these. Now since the regular Concords dropped, ain't nobody really want these, but still not a bad shoe. The Six Rings overall is definitely a nice silhouette. They got the whole PG3 NASA outfit, man. They got the shirt, the jacket, and they got the little pants. They doing, they going crazy for that. I mean, it's not really, this shoe not really that cold though, man. Like. It's okay, but to get a whole outfit for it. Now, what was the PS2 outfit? That's what I want to know. The PS2? I needed an outfit for that, man. Man, these trash city right here, man. They got the Dion uppers with the Vapormax bottom. See, this is what I'm talking about, man. When they add, like, a retro upper with a Vapormax, like, a new technology bottom, man. Crazy. Or maybe maybe you need a better colorway, but this colorway is trash. This is a pretty freaky colorway in the Air Max 95s. Got, like, an iridescent metallic type upper these not bad and uh, and this bottle it's weird it's like i guess it's a mix what they call these these are air max 95 y2k's i never seen this bottom on the 95 before but hey these recently dropped i like this uh colorway oh i don't know why but i just like this colorway like the orange with the brown camo it really make the shoe pop they also made like a white and they also made a green version of this too if I catch these on sale, I might grab these. I ain't gonna lie. This is the first time I seen um, NMDs with like a suede upper. That's the first time I seen that. Yeah, these okay. Could be better though. I like these Converse. I, I'm, these probably for like Valentine's Day or something. 65, got love, fear, love. Ooh, I like that bottom too. That bottom is crazy. Pretty decent. It's not a bad uh, Timberland for the ladies. Got that little fur upper. I like this fur as opposed to that other fur that they be having on them shoes, man. But it's not bad for the ladies. Here's the camo version of that um, orange shoe I was telling you about. They put these in like crazy colors. They got white, green, camo, also orange. This one not bad, but I like that orange one way better. They got the UNC 9s here. In hand, they pretty decent. I like these, but I'm just not trying to pay retail for them. Hopefully I can catch these on sale, but he's definitely a nice shoe. I like that white and navy combination. They go to uh, top three mids. Yeah, in hand, these okay, but the leather, they could have did way better on the leather. Like, this got a little suede toe right here. It's okay, but I'll take the highs over the mids. And I'll never take the highs, so pass. Go to black and red uh, version of the Legacy Questions. These not bad, I like these. They, what's, I think retail is 150 These not a bad colorway. I just got way too much black and red to add these to the collection. Suede pretty nice on this, as you can see. But color changing just a little bit. Decent little color in the Reebok Mobius. Black, red, and white. Can't go wrong with that. How much they want for these? 160 Definitely too half of that, though. Need these at like 100 easily. These some cute vans. I like these. Like a nice like gold upper with the floral print. He's not bad at all for the kids. He's Valentine's Day 4s, recently released. It's not bad for the ladies. What you guys think about these? Comment down below. Here go that Wild Wild West pack. They got the Air Max 95s, like with a jean, suede, and like paisley upper uh these okay the best ones was the 98s those sold out real quick but here's the 95s and they also got them in the 97s i like the the 98s first the 97 second and the 95s third overall these are not bad what's the price of this 180 and the 95s is 170. get a pick of that bottom right quick overall I'm not a bad part. I'm, I'm not really mad at the pack. I like to see, I like the Chinese New Year pack over these. So if these are sitting, I'll probably get on sale. But if not, I'm definitely getting the Chinese New Year 98. Here goes some uh, Air Max 95s. It's like after the Houston Astro colorway. I'm, I'm guessing this is a Houston uh, area code. But overall, these not bad. Got the little gradient uh, look going on. 
it's decent with the play also. Got the Black History Month, LeBron, 16s. Uh, one side is black and one side is white. I like that contrast to them. But they also had it in which like you can buy like the left side black and the right side uh, white. And then you can get another pair in which like it's the total opposite. So you could legit get two black shoes and two white shoes. You just got to pay for the two shoes. So that's not bad. Because as you can see, this is the right shoe and this is the right shoe. So technically they got a left right shoe. Technically they got a left black shoe and technically they got a right white shoe around here somewhere as well. They go to Y2K um, Air Force Ones. They got it in the black and then they also got it in all white. I like the all white a little bit better because it meshes well. Like if they'd have made this all black, this would have popped a little harder, but uh, overall I just like the white better than the black. What do you guys think about this brand, Elise? Uh, this was like big in the 80s and now they're like bringing it back out. Overall it's not bad. The shoes could, could use a little bit more work, but like the, the fit Overall, like the, the joggers and all that, it's not bad. I bet you this pro stuff probably costs like, kind of like champion prices. Like this shirt probably like 30, 40, and it's like 80. If it's like champion prices, then I can't go. Uh, NBA been snapping with Timberland lately. They recently made these um, shoes for the 76ers. I'm not really a fan of this like feel boot. I'm not really a fan of the feel boots at all. I'm more of a six inch high fan, and they got the uh, New York Nick one. Let me go and grab that. They got like necks on the tongue. Gave you different laces. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. I wouldn't get it. I need it to be all royal blue, but I'm not mad at them for making it this color. They also got it with like all black with all the teams all over it. Uh, that one's pretty decent. And then they got a Houston Rocket one. I don't know why they ain't got it out, but this Houston Rocket one is the hardest one. Just not because they're doing good, but like that color scheme on a Timberland boot, not bad. They go to the Curry Sixes. I'm not a fan of this silhouette at all. These like match the old school um, Warriors jerseys when he was a rookie. Then they got the all red one. You already know they had to drop an all red. And those are the blockbuster ones. Or something had to do with a movie. They need to, I don't know. I, I, I'm not really a fan of this colorway or the silhouette. They need to bring out a better. I'm not really a fan of this silhouette. Maybe if they like do a nice uh, colorway, but I doubt I'd grab a pair of these. They go to uh, Carry 5 BHM. In person, they okay. I think this is the best out of the whole pack, but that's not really saying much because I'm not really a fan of none of the uh, BHM models this year. They got the PG3 ones. And hand, eh, it's okay. But once again, I'm not really a fan of PG3s overall, and I'm not really a fan of this colorway on them overall. These mids kind of caught me off. I don't know if these highs are mids. They kind of catch me off guard. These kind of remind me of, um, what's the word? The pine greens that me and uh, Donnell reviewed. I'll put that up above if you want to check it out. They go to Chinese New Year, um, Kyrie Fives. In my opinion, it's okay. They, they quilt it like back. It's a different like little touch. I'm not really a fan of this colorway. It's okay, but it's just not a fan. They go to NASA um, threes. And hand, these okay. Like I like this colorway on this silhouette better than like the other threes I've been seeing, but I wouldn't pay retail for these, not at all. What does it say? It says, don't tell me the sky's the limit when there are footprints on the moon. That's pretty nice saying. You go to Kyrie Fabs, just do it. I'm not a big fan of this colorway. Um, I don't know, I'm just not a big fan of this colorway. I wouldn't get these, but the recent uh, Kyrie Fabs they've been dropping been fire though. This is a recent colorway that just dropped in the uh, Six Rings. It's not bad. Anybody who like black and gold, it's not a bad pickup at all. Gotta get these on sale if you want these though. You go to Greedies, the uh, Air Max Plus Greedies. Definitely a great shoe in hand. Glad I got them. It's like the first time I seen them like sitting in the stores. And Foot Locker downtown, if you guys like them. They still got the rest of the um, pack as well. As you guys can see, they go to two shoes next to it, and that's why these are made up of the greedy. All right, guys, that's the end of the vlog. What did you guys think? Comment down below what's the best shoe you've seen in this video. Also, if you've ever been to the River Oaks Mall located in Calumet City, Illinois, comment that down below, and we can chop it up in the comment section. Also, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, what are you doing, man? Hit that subscribe button. Takes nothing but a couple seconds, and you'll be notified when I drop future videos. And lastly, peace.